this is Japanese knotweed. It's the newest noxious weed in Nebraska. And because it's a noxious weed, that means it has to be controlled on your property in accordance with the law. Now, if you do think that you find this on your, your property, there are a few characteristics of it that you can look for. With this one, uh, Japanese knotweed, it's got arrowhead-shaped leaves or spade-shaped leaves. They uh, have red in the stem, and it's kind of a zigzag stem, as you can see here. And it kind of just goes back and forth from right to left. And uh, they have also have hollow stems. As a noxious weed, it's very invasive, and that's the reason that we want to keep it controlled. The reason it can become invasive is it spreads rapidly throughout an area, and it also, if, you, if a part of the plant gets cut off and moved downstream especially, then it can root at the new location. And so um, it roots a lot at the nodes, so it's really rapidly established and spreads quite rapidly also. And a lot of the rapid spread and establishment is along waterways, and it can really take over and, and become just the only plant in the area, especially along waterways. Now the new noxious weed designation didn't just include Japanese knotweed, it also included giant knotweed and any of the varieties or cultivars or hybrids thereof. And some of the cultivars that may be found are things like pink knotweed or pink fleece flower as it's called in the landscape trade. Uh, uh, there's a compact version and there's also this variegated version. As you can see here, it's got the arrowhead shaped leaves and it's a variegation between white and green spots throughout the leaf. It's hollow stems, and it also has that zigzag pattern. Now, if you find this in your, on your property and you need to control it, there are a couple different methods. If it's for a larger area, you can just spray Roundup or, or glyphosate. The best time to control this is after July 1st, if you want to cut it back to about two inches tall, and then you, if it's in like a landscape bed like this, you may want to just paint on some, some of the glyphosate or you can do an aerial application of that um, with a spray. When we had purple loosestrife made into a noxious weed, we were told to cut it off and put it in a ba uh, plastic bag and put it in your trash. And uh, that's another thing you can do with this. You don't want to compost it and you don't want to just throw it in your regular trash so that it doesn't establish at a new location. So like I said, it's a noxious weed, so it has to be controlled here in Nebraska. So You'll need to make sure that if it's found on your property, you do control methods to get rid of it. 